What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel, this is Jay from Illusion TV, and today I'm bringing you an unboxing of the Small Rig Cold Shoe Left Side Adapter. So the reason why I got this adapter was pretty much just to solve an issue that a lot of people who own the same camera have, and that is that if you're going to be using the screen to film yourself, that if you mount an external microphone or other device, it's pretty much going to block the entire screen. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get into the review. Okay, so now as you can see, we have a nice top-down view of the box. The label says small rig left side A6500. That's side, not side. And the label on the back says made in China. Now, even though it said 6500, I assure you it's for the 6400. It must just be a typo. Okay, opening up the box, we see we have a nice Ziploc bag. It looks like we have some other bags inside of it. So we're going to open that up. All right, looks like in the other bag or the first bag, we have the hardware to mount it with the wrench included, which is always nice. Uh, the second bag, we have the adapter. So my initial impressions are that it feels very good in the hand. It feels solid, well-made. There's a nice rubber pad on the bottom that will protect your hot shoe contacts. And then there is a hole, which we will put the screw into and secure it to the camera. On top of the mount, there is a small rig logo. So now getting to the accessory bag or the hardware bag. We'll get that out. And now I'm going to get the A6400 and we will get it all mounted up. So the reason why I got the left hand over the right hand is just because the microphone jack on the left side of the camera and I felt that having the microphone on the same side would enable me to keep the cable out of the way in case I wanted to flip up and flip down the screen such as to review footage and then maybe shoot some more footage. The right hand side looked a little bit better because of the placement. It would put it off to the side of the screen directly above the hand grip which would probably have a better center of gravity but I, again, opted for the left side because I felt like having the cable completely out of the way was the way to go. All right, so now we have the camera. We're going to pull out the plastic insert that protects the contact. And then we're going to put this uh, adapter right on. So the way it goes in is it just slides right in just like any other accessory. And I have to say, uh, sliding it into the mount, it felt really good. It felt like the uh, the precision that they put into the machining. You could see that the hole lines up with the eyelet from the back as well as a nice front view. The, uh, the eyelet will sit in front of the adapter and then we will place the screw through the eyelet and then lock it down into the adapter itself. So as you can see though, it, it hangs off the left side of the camera. Uh, it doesn't add that much bulk to the left side of the camera. I mean, it's something that, you know, unfortunately, to get something, sometimes you have to give, and it really doesn't bother me at all. I actually think it looks pretty cool. Uh, all right, so now uh, putting the screw into the adapter, we're just going to tighten it down with the supplied Allen wrench. Uh, it goes right in. There are no fitment problems. Like I said, this thing is... Uh, this thing is pretty well made. So when you tighten it, you'll feel it gets nice and tight. I wouldn't say like crank it down or anything, but you'll know when to stop. And now that it's mounted and locked down onto the camera, I gotta say there is no flex, there's no movement. Uh, it's definitely not flimsy. It actually feels like it's made, um, or I should say it feels like it's part of the frame of the camera. So we shut the camera off now. And uh, now I'm actually going to pull the screen up so that we could see uh, what it all looks like. And there you have it. I think it looks awesome, guys. What do you think? Uh, it's there is no uh, there is no obstruction to the screen. It's super low profile, and uh, I think it looks great. And now I'm actually going to mount uh, my external shotgun microphone. It's made by Tackstar. I got it on Amazon. It was about $23. Uh, 
Uh, I will put a link in the description for you in case you guys are thinking about picking one up. I am not affiliated with Amazon. I am not sponsored. Uh, I just think it's a great sounding microphone. And if you're curious on how it sounds, I'm actually shooting this overlay with it. Okay, so now picking up the camera in the hand, you can feel that holding it with one hand, it feels a little left side heavy. That's to be expected with the way it hangs off to the side. Again, it's something that you're just going to have to like get used to. It's really not a big deal at all. So we'll uh, flip up the screen now and we'll see what the whole package looks like. And that right there is pretty much my YouTube vlogging setup. Uh, and, I, and I think it came out great. I think it looks awesome. And now inserting the microphone into the camera, you can get an idea exactly what I mean about why I went with the left side. It keeps everything off to one side. Uh, there's no interference from the uh, from the cable with the screen. You can see here I'm going to actually flip the screen down. It works really well. And, you know, if you're going to be, like, reviewing footage and then, like, oh, I got to retake that and then flipping it back up, taking a, a scene and then flipping it down to review it, you know, the cable being in the way might be a big deal. But, uh as you can see, it's it's just a great little package. I love the camera. I have no complaints about the camera at all. These are just some shots that I uh, took. I figured I would roll them into the video so that you guys could get a closer look on what the camera looks like uh, from different views uh, with the adapter on, some close-up shots. Uh, I have th this shot right here is without the microphone, so you can really see what it looks like. Um, so, yeah, like I said, if any of you guys have this adapter, I'd love to hear from you guys, uh, especially if you have the right-hand adapter. And do you find that the cable can get in the way, uh, routing it to the left side? Yeah, so this is my, like, second small rig product. Uh, the first one I have is actually, like, a, an aluminum metal, all-metal tripod, which I think is great. I'm actually, I have the microphone mounted to it now. It's super solid. Uh, it's nice if you pick it up, you could like vlog with it. And uh, so they made that super well. And this uh, this adapter is no different. If you guys like the video, please give me a like. And if you want to see future videos, hit that subscribe button. And I think you have to actually hit that little bell also just to get notified on when I make new videos. I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. I hope you guys enjoy them too. And my main goal to the video is just getting uh, useful content out to you guys, information that's going to help you with either a buying decision or maybe an educational uh, video that's going to help you learn how to use something. So thanks a lot for watching and until next time, I'll catch you later.